Delicious co-creators, Lilu here on the Juicy Living Tour. Today I'm in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is this, is this beautiful island south of India. I actually was meant to go to India. I know you're Indian, huh? Yep, originally. Yeah. Originally I'm an Indian. Yeah. 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 So do you decided to, to move to Sri Lanka a long time ago? Uh, 17 years ago uh-huh. and it's been lovely ever since. <laughs> so interestingly enough, you know how, how life sometimes brings us to different places and meet different people. Interviews from me in India didn't I guess uh, we're not supposed to happen I'm excited to start with you um, because you're the the president of the Colombo Fashion Week you're you're a designer you have several brands but more than that what's really exciting and what I love doing is interviewing people like you that have this special way of being in your professional life in your work life and I love learning like that and that we all learn together so that this society I guess or wherever we are in the world whether it's France or the United States or India or Sri Lanka we can all you know start growing and becoming the the full human beings that we can be huh? is that your 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 feeling too absolutely uh, I will hold it for oh, you yes. okay okay <laughs> no no absolutely what you said is so true and I think it's a journey because uh, you know I, I work in fashion which is like if you look at fashion a lot of glamour and a lot of other things it's probably more glamorous than any other profession that you could be part of right so uh, in a profession like that uh, you know a lot of people they move very far away from being conscious about about spirituality about you know oneness with things right so so uh, you know so to me it's taken me a while but it's been a good journey that every year in spirituality I get closer to the to the and, and you know consciousness is kind of you know expanding and when the consciousness expands uh, you know uh, you know the feeling of oneness comes because you can't separate what you do for a living and your living yes you know so 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 yeah and I, I'm, I'm really happy that in Sri Lanka this is this is happening now yeah. you know do you feel this is happening and people are more and more conscious or can we be conscious when we're in the survival mode too because it seems like there's a lot of poverty here and in India uh, maybe superficiality in your work you know there is all those things that hold us back from maybe we have something else that is more important than consciousness sometimes I guess you know because I think it's the poverty of the soul m- mostly more which is which is uh, which is worse than the poverty which is you know like a physical poverty you know and uh, you know I think this part of the world anyways is very spiritual you know I mean you know you look at the countries around us like India for example very very spiritual but but the fact is that they, they get a lot of times get stuck in the in the structure of uh, you know spirituality and when the structure comes comes to tradition they come to religion comes you know all those things but I guess you start departing from it because you make no effort from within yourself to be spiritual because there's a structure you can go into yeah. you know which it's is kind of hiding it's hiding you know yeah. so 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 yeah but uh, you know uh, even, even the group that I'm part of here you know uh, wow for example you know it's, it's a it's, it's a very you know there's a very conscious living which is being which is being spoken about and and it is like enlightenment from within you know and then it imparts and affects everything else that you do you know. in some of the countries and around the world we can see that religion is less and less uh, there I mean uh, people want not less there but that people are looking for something else and find the answers within absolutely because see what happens is that when you go into look at all the holy men in the world right they never prayed in a in a structure right yeah Yeah. they never but what happens is I feel I mean this really personally my journey so I feel that uh, over the years I mean I used to go to churches I used to you know I've done pilgrimages in India I've been to the Himalayas walk 34 kilometers up and down bare feet I've done all that right now and and you realize that um, you know sometimes uh, you hide or you find a easy way or a shortcut to go inside a structure and pray and come back but never engage from within right and and that's what consciousness is you know you need to engage from within you know so when you and and you know when you when you start engaging from within right then what's inside you starts coming out as they say you know there's a temple is within you Mm -hmm. you know what kind of choices did you had to make as the president of the colombo fashion week or as a designer that were not easy to make but you had to make those choices to be in integrity with your true deep uh, uh, feeling inside of you and your consciousness you know, I, I must say, uh, Lilu, if I can say, yeah, yeah, you know, I must say that Lilu, that uh, it's getting better every year, 
you know, because Columbo Fashion Week is in its 11th year this year, mm -hmm. right? And uh, yeah, the choices were harder, harder, because, you know, I don't want to lead, uh, uh, you know, a hypocrite life that, okay, this is what I do different and this is what I am. I've been trying to merge uh, both of them, right? Because I feel that if I can merge then I could impart to the people who are in the fashion industry as well, you know, and and why should this industry be so superficial because there are, you know, there are beautiful people that I see there, you know, and I'm very sure that they're beautiful on the inside as well, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. so, so, yeah, the choices that I had to make was, you know, uh, I, I didn't need to go for, uh, you know, uh, how do I say it, you know, uh, something really superficial to get me, you know, excited or, you know, about something because if you think twice, you realize that, hey, you know, I could do without, but, it would help me more, you know, yeah, and, 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 and then what I would, what I would impart, I would also be, uh, since I, I'm the head of this organization, uh, and, and a lot of designers and f the whole faculty and fraternity, they speak to me, it's very important that they realize that, okay, you know, he lives in a certain manner, he does things in a certain manner, yeah. so there would be something there, yeah. there would be some truth there. Yeah you know so it's an evolving journey because yeah. yeah. it's hard to impose our own view on others we have it feels like we have to let them come and be ready how do you manage this conversation and get them to be open on where you're at see uh, like i always believe that you can't change the other person it's how you are and how you change yourself changes the other person mm -hmm. You know, so I, I work with that always. So I don't need to impose anything on them. It's how I change myself, how I yeah. hold myself, will impart on the other person and say, hey, there's something with Ajay that is really good and I need to know that. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I go yeah. with that, you know. Like Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see in the world. Absolutely, you know, uh, Gandhi and you know, so many other people, if you see the core of all of those things are very similar, mm -hmm. but not many people engage themselves in doing that, mm -hmm. you know. And you had to make also choices how how the clothes were made or where they were made and and who was working for you also as the designer part. Yeah, you know, I uh, seen uh, the ethical side of things are very different in in you know in all over the world. For example, uh, you know, uh, ethical in in this part of the world, uh, people say, oh, you know, if there's a child who's working in a house, you know, it's child labor, which actually is not child labor, mm. right? Because the, uh, that person's father, the ch child's father must be an artisan who might be teaching him some art mm. as passing down, right? So it's very, so it's very easy to misrepresent that, mm -hmm. you know? So, uh, so I try to go deeper to understand is it really ethical or not, mm -hmm. right? And like I say, it's a journey because every, every, uh, you learn more every day and you try to be more and more ethical, you know? And ethical means in terms of how you conduct with people, how the artisans work, how, like, we started a new program this year with National Craft Council of Sri Lanka, hmm? where we want to impact all the artisans. Mm. It'll be a difficult journey, mm. but we started, mm. you know? Does that have to go through the law and the government, or do you think really the real change now these days are going to come from, from the bottom up? I think it's it's both because you know I think even 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 the government you know uh, and also the people because I think it it represents and reflects each other you know so so at the conscious uh, conscious society means like you know everyone is conscious of what their role is and what their positions are you know and and I think in in Sri Lanka that growing consciousness is is started off already you know and 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 uh, i think soon the impact will be to everyone and they would feel that they are more conscious in terms of you know what they do you know so so yeah so there's a choices being made within the structure and outside the structure you know so artisans for example live in far off villages you need to reach out to them and try to figure out look this is how it's done mm. you know and 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 government always helps out because they also their their interest is similar to yours because they want the well-being of their people mm. you know when you have to, um, I feel also that uh, part in our society we have to, you know, speak our mind also and be authentic and follow our heart. How do you say what you feel true in your heart to someone, you know, and not really knowing how to say it? Because sometimes there is those difficult conversation to have, isn't there? I, I guess with your associates or your partners or or with whoever that you had to say no. It seems like we have a lot of no's to say for big yeses. No, you're absolutely right. But uh, at the same time, uh, I, I try very hard to work with love, yes. you know, because yes. I think love overcomes all, you know, and then, then boldness. boldness. Yeah. So you need to be bold in what you believe in, right? Uh, otherwise, hypocrisy s uh, steps in. Yes. But, you know, it's, it's a fine balance of love, boldness and uh, offense. Yeah. 
you know so so if you're uh, you know if you're in, you know if you, you 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 need to understand that person that person is not a bad person it's just that he's influenced by something so you don't have to go out and offend him right so if you bring in love and talk to him right and then be bold in what your choices are you know he would understand you know it, it might be like you know if you take a big tree and you to cut a tree you keep hitting at one place again and again right so that it it, it breaks from there you know so that's where the you know uh, so you you always able to get through with love like that you know in the teachings here in, in Sri Lanka or something that you live by where are some of those principles like to keep that dignity that love centeredness way of being what do you tell yourself in those harder times in those harder moments when you face a disease a divorce a, a challenge with money a problem with the, with the law or with partners or whatever well you know i, I try to uh, you know my i i, I to me uh, i believe um, in uh, not uh, okay uh, i i need to be a little correct on this one so I'm excited i love it <laughs> <laughs> so uh, no, i i uh, i i believe in jesus right in a person that uh, but not uh, i'm not a, i'm not like a typical church going jesus following person no because i've gone through a huge journey in terms of when i was a young kid i wanted to be like guru nanak the sikh guru then i've gone to vaishnav devi three times you know uh, you know like i said i walk bare feet like 70 kilometers up 70 kilometers down i've done you know i've done a lot of those things in search right and then when uh, you know um, uh, kirby my spiritual father when he showed uh, you know uh, in in the group wow that i work uh, you know that we are part of uh, you know uh, he spoke a, a, something very beautiful he said look it's about conscious living you know about consciousness and 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 always love as a overriding thing but love in terms of not that someone exploits it you know so so all these kind of things work in in truth so uh, so you need to balance this out right so are you offending someone but you need to be still bold because truth also breaks through yeah right so you have hold you hold on to truth as well right and what is truth that's a big one yeah so truth could be everything from the small thing that you need to do to the big thing right for example a lot of people that you deal with on a daily basis right they might come very strongly against you so say hey you know you have to do these these things and then you realize that he's actually governed by a spirit of deception right and you, you mean by that but you know say for example if a person comes to me and says hey you know ajay uh, you know i couldn't do it like this and you told me to go and do like this and you realize that hey he, this per- this is a, he's a beautiful person but his personality is completely wrong how he's talking at this moment yeah right so he's something is deceiving him for him to say those things to me yeah. and suddenly he'll snap him and say hey but you, how are you saying it is wrong you know th- th- i didn't mean it like that i actually meant it like this which you say in truth and he's saying oh wow you meant it like that so through communication and standing in your truth yeah i can very easily back down and say oh my god okay i'm sorry i'm sorry without addressing the issue that is there so you know that's why i said uh, we all come here as solutions right and if we are if we sit here as solutions then we impart as solutions so then i can impact one person then the next person then the next person so everything around us becomes amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. it is like you pay it forward kind of effect and ripples yeah. out yeah and and you know and to me it's very important like i've i've you know be as a born hindu i i've known hindu gurus and you know known means i know of them you know they've been all you know it's it's amazing what they do you know the discipline you know the prayers everything right but what's happening is today's today's society there's more of a need of that so we need people here amongst them you know otherwise you mean uh, more in action and presence and more in presence you know imparting saying things hey do it like this do it like that and that's why you know like i said by you know by god's grace i'm trying to do the uh, i i try hard to do that within the fashion scenario here you know uh, not it's a big task yeah yes a big it's a very big task you know without offending anyone not offending anyone without uh, you know uh, uh, you know touching their lives in whatever best you can and i think once you do it with that you know there there there's someone behind you who does it even stronger for you because he knows your intentions mm. are you very much into practices into following synchronicities or signs things of that nature rituals Uh, no i uh, you know thing is that I, i i try to keep this after all these years as a journey i try to keep a, uh, keep a very close watch on that because um, uh, you know certain rituals or doing things three four times ends up becoming a tradition yeah, yeah. you know so what you said it takes you out of your tra- your 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 real work yeah, yeah in your re- and then suddenly you say okay i have to do it now this 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 and then what happens you start moving away from it because now it's a easy way to do it 
right so i don't follow that like i said i follow you know a lot of i follow the principles of jesus so to say you know uh, how we worked and in a, in a in a very deeper way you know not in this in not in the spiritual way right and i'm learning that those more you know i'm learning those more and uh, uh, yeah and, and being a born hindu i'm learning that more so i'm i'm able to probably dig out more yeah. because i see it in complete freshness yeah. you know it's so interesting the 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 jesus hindu uh, yeah. relationship it's quite i've never heard of it yet so i'm very uh, interested yeah. about it but i guess maybe kirby will tell more yeah yeah, yeah. He, you know uh, kirby yeah. will will give you a much detailed version of that but uh, but yeah so uh, so you know it's like uh, so there those certain principles that you live by and you know and and you keep getting better at those you yeah. know yeah Where do you feel uh, Sri Lanka is at? I mean, it's not to compare in with India, but how is really the, the the culture and consciousness here versus India, and how is it growing? Because it's it's quite um, surprising to me that, you know, to me I, I follow life and the universe wherever it leads me, and it led me to Sri Lanka and not to India. So I'm trying to think maybe there's something, you know, that's happening here that needs to be shared. Really, that is special. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> this part is very interconnected. It means when I say the subcontinent, you know, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, they were one under the under the uh, colonization, right? So to me, I feel that they are all part of it, right? So broadly, like Buddhism here came from India, so there's always a connect. you know so i guess in today's world because the societies are getting more complex and they're more uh, there are more uh, you know more uh, like a different kind of issues which are cropping up so i think uh, uh, sri lanka being small if there is a if uh, the consciousness is easy for it to grow here because it's not so diverse you know so so sri lanka could be a could be a good example of that consciousness yeah. which could go overseas because it's a compact consciousness you know and it could impart to other countries around you know so I, i think i think sri lanka is doing uh, you know wonderfully well on that yeah. yeah there's a lot of beauty here in the people too and maybe not n- n- not as much chaos maybe than in india i don't know people say that you're more sri lankan now than sri lankans themselves yeah yeah you know i love sri lanka i think i have this uh, a deep spiritual bond with sri lanka love bond maybe you know i've been here 17 years you know i feel at home here and uh, do i love india you know i love sri lanka more probably you know so that's why i'm here is beautiful i think you know you, you find your place you just feel the environment is you're with the environment environment is with you you know mm-hmm. so yeah a uh, new projects that you're working on like things in the fashion industry or things that really i mean a lot to your heart that are happening in the future in your future yeah there are lots of them you know i i i think you know it's a whole thing of creating new things you know so I, I, we just finished a huge fashion week two days ago right and so now i'm already moving on to the next one mm-hmm. so so the next one is in in september which is like the colombo fashion week resort show then we do two supermodel shows in between right and then i have uh, you know a couple of other things coming on board other projects and also my other brands are ugambe right so so i have to work on two levels all the time yeah. What are your three brands? One is called uh, Arugambe, one is called Conscience and one is called String Hopper. Mm. Yeah, but String Hopper is a little slow at the moment because I'm focusing more on Arugambe and Conscience to to build on that. Yeah. Yeah, because they th- all three were very active uh, two years ago, mm-hmm. but it was taking a lot of, out of me like running a cl- running a fashion week and designing three. you know so that's so a lot yeah and that's the thing with consciousness too is that once we're connected to it yeah. there's it bubbles up doesn't it, bubbles it? Up. that's the thing and you can never stop those ideas going yeah. so uh, expand 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 keep expanding so now now i'm i'm trying to uh, work find a find a balance to you know get up but it'll come it'll come yeah mm. thank you so much for taking the time to do this interview i really enjoyed it thank you lilia thank you thank you for having me thank you and big big kisses to all juicy beautiful co-creators looking at this video around the world please share it around you you know let's spread those beautiful messages and inspiration thank you thank you very much bye bye